Hi and welcome to christinescrafts.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a garden gazing ball. These can be really expensive but today I'm going to show you how to make one on a budget. These are the three that I've made that are in my garden and I think you'll agree they're very effective. You can simply place them on the ground or in a stand or you can make them with a stick to hold them up. The choice is entirely yours but I'm sure you can start to see how I've done them. So first of all, you need some sort of ball. I've used a polystyrene ball, mine was about 5 inches diameter. And you need something to stand it on while you're working on it. I've just used a little ramekin dish, but use whatever you've got. Then you're going to need your glass beads or pebbles, as they're sometimes known, that you can stick onto it. They have a flat side so that they stick on nicely. I'm actually going to stick them on with hot melt glue. So you're going to need a hot melt glue gun. doesn't matter what size. If you want to put it on a stick, clearly you're going to need a stick. And it's optional, but you may want to use some clear silicon sealant to seal it all to make it more weather resistant. I'm not showing that in this video, but you can do it at the end if you want to. So take your ball, get your glass beads, and you are simply going to cover it. So you're going to get your hot melt glue, put a little bit on each glass bead, and then stick it on. Now obviously I've sped this up because it'd be very boring to watch me do all of it but notice that I'm working my way around steadily the idea being that it won't keep sliding because the weight of the glass if it's all on one side will mean it keeps flipping down and making it difficult and annoying to work on. So keep working your way around getting those glass beads on and you're going to keep going until you get a good halfway down your sphere and then flip it over. Keep going, keep adding your ball, keep pebbles to your ball. If you're going to put a stick in, I suggest you drill a hole to put it in, a little bit smaller than your stick. And that very soon before you get to the top of your ball, you put the stick in to make sure you can get it in and you haven't put a glass pebble in the way. Okay, and then that's it, you're done. Once it's covered, it's all finished. If you want to silicon it like I have done mine, you can do. But to be honest, I'd still recommend bringing them in in the winter. I don't think they're going to be completely weather resistant. So mine are catching the light as the sun filters through dappled shade from the tree, and I love them. So once again, you've been able to craft and do it on a budget. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy making your own gazing ball. It'd be great if you could give me a thumbs up below. Even better if you could subscribe and then you can catch all my videos. They're all linked to making your crafts do work better for you on a budget. So once again, thank you for watching.